for a life update. So yes, I'm technically quitting my job to travel the world, but I'm still making videos about tech, which is one of the reasons why I'm headed to India. So shout out to Media Tech for making this once in a lifetime opportunity possible for me, giving me the ability to travel all the way across the world, fly in first class and visit India's largest city, Delhi. Now to some of you, this may be a surprise, but for those of you who've been watching my channel for a little over a year, the writing was on the wall. Taking some time to reflect on this new chapter, and I'm glad I did a post to jumping right on YouTube with a video titled, I quit my job to just get engagement. If I had to guess, some of you will be disappointed because it's what you've known me on YouTube for, and I understand if you don't want to watch anymore. See, my biggest question was, if I quit my job, would I still be able to call myself a software engineer? However, I shifted this question to, can I make videos that aren't about software for engineering so I can quit my job. I think life is too short and it's important to chase the things that give you joy and happiness. All right, so I've been going back and forth with how to create this video. I thought about doing it a week after I left my tech job. I thought about pushing it all the way to the beginning of 2025. Do I just sit in the studio space and yap for 20 minutes? But I think the best way for me to do it that really showcases like why I made this decision is to blend together discussing why I made this decision, how my life has been while I showcase this absolutely life-changing one in a lifetime opportunity trip to india so shout out to my friends over at media tech for giving me this opportunity to join them for their creator summit and flying me all the way from new york to delhi and to experience some of the most beautiful monuments and of course the taj mahal and just wonderful people and culture of India. So this video is gonna be a lot different from your typical I quit my tech job. So just pay attention to some of the subtitles. They'll explain some of the things that I experienced while in India, along with explaining what you're seeing. So for the past six years, I've been juggling a demanding nine to five tech job along with my YouTube channel. And especially this year, I felt like I was pushing myself to the limit. See, I have this goal of hitting 250,000 subscribers on YouTube, which I still have as a goal, but that was my goal in order to leave my nine to five. However, that was before gaining nearly hundreds of thousands of followers on short form platforms such as Instagram and TikTok. And I also began traveling more frequently and working with brands I can only dream of working with. For those of you all who have been following the channel for years, you all know I've always had a passion about technology and not just programming, but consumer tech. I used to review products that I definitely couldn't afford, hoping to catch a brand's attention by showcasing my engineering perspective. I used to return those products, but one day I figured it would pay off. And that's why this video is so important because the culmination of this invitation to India with the top tech creators is the real reason why I'm making this video and the reason why I've been able to make this decision. I always dreamed of traveling and storytelling through video, but when I first started my YouTube channel, I was only in college and I didn't live in an interesting place, nor could I afford to travel or have the latest and greatest tech. But fast forward to now, I fear missing out on my true potential. And if I don't fully commit to my passion, who knows?
while we're in India, I figured this would be the perfect time. While we're in Delhi, see some of the most beautiful historical monuments in the entire world, even one of the seven wonders of the world. Sheesh. So to just talk about my career for a second, I started making content in 2017, had no idea what I was doing. And fast forward to 2018, I made a day in the life of a software engineer. I had no idea that that video would change my life and catapult me to where I am today, but it did. I transitioned from being a traditional software engineer to a developer relations engineer. I explored developer evangelism, wasn't really my cup of tea. I did not like running hackathons and I definitely wasn't building as much as I like. So then I transitioned to developer advocacy, which I thought would be the perfect fit for me because we focused on user experience, developer experience, and I did some programming. I learned that there was no nine to five, at least currently, there is no nine to five that could fulfill me the way being a creator fulfills me. I honestly think I'm a lot better at being a creator and maybe that's just because I'm much more willing to put more hours into my craft as a creator. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my air purifier just turned on. I have an automated time slot for it to turn on and off. Just a second. I want this video to be focused on the trip to India. So I'm gonna tell you guys the question I used to ask myself, which prevented me from taking the leap into being a full-time creator versus the question I ask myself now. So I used to ask myself if I stop making software engineering content will my audience still watch my videos and then i changed that mindset and my question was now can i make videos that aren't software engineering related and will i find them as fulfilling i still do technically work in new york so don't think that those weekly vlogs are going to go anywhere i just haven't put any out because we've been traveling a ton and it's really like this is the busiest season as a tech creator with all the different releases we've had. The 
only thing that I ask of you all is to continue watching these videos and continue being the wonderful community that you have always been. I'm thinking through a new series that I can do where it can kind of be in parallel to working in nine to five in tech. So feel free to comment down below some ideas you have, some videos that you wanna see. I'm done yapping about why I made this transition from being a, you could say software engineer still to now being a full-time creator. And I hope you all just sit back, grab some popcorn and enjoy this travel video to India where we explore the cities of Delhi, a really fun fan meetup, and of course the breathtaking Taj Mahal. to the Taj Mahal it's a beautiful day not too hot so many people but the marble was so soft our tour guide told us that the marble comes from the hills in Agra and the marble is a soft crystallized marble and he's not lying it's like some of the softest like stone I've ever felt in my life but this place is absolutely stunning with incredible wildlife even behind the Taj Mahal with this insane lake and all these animals. It's spectacular. Like, look at this place. Unforgettable. Thank you. 